Hey, I'm Sam and I do design and in the video today, I'm teaching you how to save so much time in Keyshot with studios. Let's say that you've modeled something in SolidWorks or in Shaper 3D and you know in Keyshot that you want to be able to change the state of certain parts. For example, here we have this MacBook Air and we want the lid to be able to be open and also shut. So what I see people do all the time, and I think this is really common, is if we come over here to our feature tree, you'll have separate components that you can manually turn on and off depending on what state you want that part to be in. Now this is really great if you're just working alone and you know that you just want maybe one or two renders with the lid open or closed. But let's say that then we have some multi-materials where we want to be able to change the different colors of the parts. Let's say, for example, we have some different camera angles where we want to be able to see and highlight different parts of the design. And also, let's think about having different lighting environments where we can change the direction of the shadow. Now, all of a sudden, if I want to be able to show the closed laptop with our zoomed in shot, and I want the shadow to be casting over to the left hand side like this, well, then I have to go through and manually tick on every single part as I was just speaking about it. This is really inefficient, especially when you might need 100 of these renders, all with different colors and all with different camera angles. So we can use studios to help us automatically tick all of these different options. The first thing that we're going to want to do is create individual model sets for every single piece that we want to change. So in this instance, we'll have an open model set and a closed model set. In order to get model sets open on your key shop, you can use this button down here, the three icon button. And you can see that everything is in one model set. And if I want to split these out into different model sets, I would just right click on the part that I want. So in this instance, I'm going to click on closed, new model set, and I'm going to call it closed. We can go back to our original model set and do the same thing for open. And then what we ha essentially have is an individual uh, separate model set with just the part that we want to move in it, okay? So we can go back and turn on multiple model sets and make sure that we have the pieces we don't need just deleted. And now I can turn on the open model set or I can turn on the closed model set and that's going to give us the exact functionality that we need, okay? But all I've done is I've moved the checkboxes from the right-hand panel, our feature tree, and I've put them into the model sets. And right now I still need to use that manually. So what I can use instead is studios. And that's going to grab a whole bunch of different settings from across Keyshot, put them all into one place, and then activate each of those settings when we tell it to. So in order to get up to studios, come down to window, click on studios, or just press U on the keyboard. And let's say that I want to uh, have this exact shot. Okay, so we have our blue MacBook with the blue base. We have our lighting with everything coming off to the left. And we have our camera with the close three quarters. And actually we can also assign image styles as well. But for this scene, I just have one image style. So we don't need to worry about that. But all I'm going to do is come over to studios and press add new studio. So I can call this blue closed. Perfect. Now let's say that I want to do a front shot with the MacBook open and I want to change the lighting environment to being front on like this. So again, I come over here and I press add studio. It's as easy as that. Blue front open. Great. So what Studios is doing is grabbing all of the information that we've got already set and putting it all in one place and activating those automatically. Now, I think if I remember rightly, when you first open up Keyshot and start using Studios for the first time, it's not automatically grabbing everything that you might want. Okay, so all you need to do to change that is come over to the settings, press new studio settings, make sure that everything is ticked on. Okay, so what that means is Whatever is on the screen, whatever you are seeing as the render begins to res up, that will be captured by the studio. What I might want to do then is say, okay, I want the silver version and I want the shadows over to the left. And again, 
now that everything is set up, I simply press new studio and I can say silver open three quarters. And now as we cycle through, okay, we have three studios set up really easily. And as we cycle through, all of those settings are automatically set up for us. Now, if you already have a studio set up like you have here with the silver open three quarters, you can still edit any settings that you want. And let's say that I want to now press gold, but you'll notice that because we've changed one of the settings that does not correspond to that studio, we've now actually left that studio. And if I click back on it, that will go back to being the silver. And let's say if I wanna turn it to the black option now, we're leaving that studio any time that we want to make a change. And that's handy if I really want to make a black open three quarters. There we go. That's really handy because I can keep just going through and running through all of the different multi-materials and setting up new studios. However, let's say for example, this black open three quarters, I actually want to be closed. Well, we can still change anything in the studio by coming down to the settings at the bottom here and changing any of the settings on the left. So instead of having it open, I can click on the close option. And let's say now that we need to change that to the closed camera. And now that studio has been updated because we've changed things on the left. You can really start to get clever with how you organize your Keyshot file and make sure that you're keeping your file sizes as small as possible. What this is allowing us to do is to create model sets of just the parts that we need to move, just the parts that need to change state, and we can keep everything else that stays the same in one model set. So we don't have duplicates of these bases with the keyboards. We don't have one version for the open and one version for the close. It's just sharing one single file of the keyboard base with the keyboard. And we're applying extra parts on top of that, depending on what needs to change. So this is not only a great way of being efficient with your time and saving you from needing to go through and turn on all the checkboxes manually, it's also efficiency in terms of the file sizes as well. A company that I think is using Keyshot and Keyshot Studios really well is this company, Moment. This is actually run by fellow YouTuber, Liam Martin, and this website provides you with all of the different types of environments and scenery and studios that you might need to create really effective Keyshot renders. As you scroll through this site, you can see just how in detail some of these studios are, everything from moody dark scenes such as this, all the way through to full interior townhouses and restaurants. I'm lucky enough that Moment has given me access to these files and just flicking through all of the different options is really quite something to see. If you download a Moment file, you can see that all of the studios are set up nicely. Here we have the difference between day lighting and night lighting when all of the multi-material lights turn on. And all of the scenes are set up perfectly for you to just be able to drag and drop your own models in and start rendering straight away. Now, like I said, I've spoken to Liam and I've actually been given access to these files myself, but that doesn't take away from the fact that I'm so impressed by how all of these scenes are set up. So that was a really quick Keyshot tip and I consider it to be one of the fundamentals when it comes to using Keyshot. It turns out not many people work in this way, so I hope you've learned something in this video. If you have, please let me know down in the comments below because I love reading about it. And don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and hit the bell button and everything else that YouTube asks you to do. And I will see you all in the next video.